Hi, today we're going to cover how to identify your outdoor digital menu board by the model and its unique characteristics. And then we're also gonna go into how to change the filter for each outdoor digital menu board. So today we're going to go over the characteristics of the Generation 11 outdoor digital menu board by Stratacache and how to identify the Generation 11. For the single version, you'll notice it has a solid monument style look to it with a base that covers the whole width and then the back itself is actually curved. The double enclosure for the Generation 11, same features, a full width base, slightly curved as well as a slightly curved back. Those are the two distinctive features of the Generation 11. On the Generation 11 single enclosure, we're now going to demonstrate how to change the primary filter. There is one filter located in this unit. To access that filter, you're gonna need your triangle key again. It will be accessed using two holes on each side, on the left and the right. So what you wanna do is take your key, insert it, do a quarter turn towards you, so it's gonna be this motion, that's counterclockwise. And that's on both sides. Then you're gonna grab both sides right at this seam and gently pull straight towards you. You may need to wiggle it just a little bit. It will pop off like that. So then you'll lift it out like so. In the base, what you wanna do is inspect, make sure there's no debris that's collected there. Uh, debris can collect if they're using um, blowers or things like that for doing maintenance outside. Your filters are going to be located right here. There's two tabs. Gently pull and it will slide out. Inspect the filter. Make sure everything looks clean. You'll take your new filter, put it right back on the same slide rack. There's actually a little lip on each side. And then you'll insert that back in and replace the covers as seen. Now, do you want to point out there are these points here? Those correspond to these inlets on the digital menu board. That's what's going to be securing this cover. So you get it back in place. You might need to wiggle it back and forth just a little bit to get it in there. Then you'll push it, push it shut. And quarter turn each one. Locking it together. So you may need to take these and squeeze them together like that. And then quarter turn. That's it. That's how you change the single filter on the single enclosure. So I just wanted to show you a little uh, close up on how to remove the front panel from the side. So on each side, there are these two points here that you use your triangle key. It's a quarter turn outward away from the display to unlock it. Then what will happen is the front will actually pull straight out like that. Um, and you can pull it from both sides. These points here, You'll see these black points, they're corresponding points on the front, as I had mentioned. Putting it back on, I do recommend you go from side to side, meaning on each side, push these together. You may need to lift up on it just a little bit to get it in there. And then you push together, take the key, quarter turn towards the display, so counterclockwise, and it locks it in place. So if you do that on each side, your base will be secure again, um, and that's pretty much it for changing the filter.